what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be all about my birth control experience if you did not like these type of videos click out I don't really care about the negative comments or anything but yeah disclaimer like in the past of in the way <laughs> what am I trying to say like in my past videos my air conditioning is on it is summertime so yeah we're just gonna get right into this video so I'm going to give a little bit of previous backstory before I jump into like what birth control I'm on and its side effects and all of that stuff. So I, TMI, this is going to be kind of like one of those TMI videos, I'm just warning you now, but um, I started my period when I was 10. <laughs> um, so it was really early, I was still in middle school, I was like one of the first people to start my period. Um, and when I started my period, probably like everyone, it was very irregular. But at that time, when I first started, my cramps weren't too bad if I did have any cramps at all. Um, I w did have a very heavy flow, but um, again, the cramps were kind of like, mm, okay. Fast forward to about high school, to about my freshman year of high school, for whatever reason, I have no idea why, my cramps got so bad when I say bad I mean I was throwing up I couldn't get out of bed because they hurt so bad like I had to miss so many days of school because I was in excruciating pain and my mom's a nurse and she was like giving me different medications to see if they would work and it was just like nothing was touching this pain like nothing was touching it so and again I had a very heavy flow and when I say heavy, this may be a little overboard with TMI, but I was using um, pretty expensive pads. And when I tell you I would soak through them within an hour, like it was very, very bad. And my flow was still irregular. So I could have two periods in a month. I could have three periods in a month. I always had a period. Some people will be like, some, um, some months I skip a period, some months I have two. I've never skipped a period. Like it was always one or it was more than one. Heavy flows for about seven to eight days. So my periods were very, very, very bad. So my mom was like, okay, well, I'm all out of ideas. So she decided to take me to the gynecologist or as I like to call it, the vagina doctor. And the doctor recommended birth control. Um, so I guess the hormones was going to regulate my periods, help with the cramps and the flow and whatever. So they did the whole examination and everything um, because if they're just going to put you on some type of hormones without making sure everything is good down there, you have a whole other problem. But so they did the examination and the doctor decided to put me on birth control pills. So he explained to me how everything was supposed to go. Again, my mother's a nurse, so I kind of had an idea of how everything was supposed to go. So we did that. So I was on birth control. I started my freshman year of high school, and I want to say I was on birth control until about my junior year of high school. It did help with the cramps a little bit, but they were still very, very painful. Like that was, it just kind of lessened the pain enough to where I can get up and be a functioning human being for the most part my flow was still heavy my periods were still irregular so it didn't really touch that but it did kind of help with the cramps a little bit um and then I was very active I was in sports and I did different things on campus so it got to a point where I uh, was starting to miss pills because like I would be at school all day and then I would be you know my extracurriculars and there would be times where I would come home and just pass out and just completely forget to take my pill. If my parents were able to catch me um, before I like passed out, they'd be like, hey, take your pills. Because I kept them in my mom's room so my parents could remind me because my memory has always been terrible. So I kept them in their room because they would see them and they hey, you need to you know, take your pill, but whatever. So, but I was always so busy and I would always legit just like pass out. So I would always forget. So my mom was like, okay, well, it's obviously not going to work anymore, um, even though it wasn't really doing too much to begin with. So my mom decided to take me back to the gynecologist, and the gynecologist decided that another good method for me would be the depot shot. So that was my junior year of high school. 
so I've been on the depot shop ever since so I've been on the depot shop since 2012 um, and when I first started the depot shop the doctor told me um, you know all of the side effects like the weight gain and he also told me that my periods could stop and they did after the first shot my period stopped so I, I haven't had a period since 2012 thank you Jesus um so yeah and now we are here so again I've been on the depot shot for a couple of years now side note please do not come into my comments any fake doctors trying to tell me what I should do what I shouldn't do I need to give my body a break blah 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 like I've talked to my gynecologist I've talked to my primary my mother's a nurse like I I got this like we figured it all out so the side effects personally for me I did gain a couple of pounds um but most of the weight that I gained was from me just eating whatever like my freshman year of college so because one of the side effects is increased appetite which I definitely took advantage of my freshman year of college I literally ate like whatever whenever there was just no method to my madness so that definitely contributed to my weight gain so the shot it's the shot itself didn't make me gain the weight it was more of my reckless eating habits that made me gain the weight as far as any other side effects I haven't really seen any personally I know about a year or two ago um, someone was saying that you're supposed to give your your body a break from the shot and I went and I talked to my gynecologist about it and they were saying you know that's what people used to say but it's not necessarily true as long as I'm not having any problems then I really don't need to take a break from the shot but once I start experiencing problems or if I start seeing issues then definitely give myself a break Another uh, method that they were telling me if I did need to give myself a break was the um, implant in the arm, which not implant, not a damn thing in my arm, and the IUD, which they inserted in my vagina. You knew that that was not an option either. So, fingers crossed, I never have an issue with the shot because the other two options are just not, they're a no go for me. So, about the depot, um, if you don't know, my, okay, go back. The depot shot. Obviously, it's a shot that you get every three months, either in your arm or in your hip. They say it's the hip, it's your butt, like, it's your butt. But I used to go to the doctor every three months. Uh, the nurse would give me my shot and that would be it. But the past two years, um, my doctor would just give me the prescription. I would pick it up from Walgreens and my mother gives me my shot. So, I hate needles. Needles, I mean, are not my thing at all. So every three months is like the worst time of my life and you have to plan it out strategically like every three months i think they say you can have like some leeway so if it's like a few days after three months but if you're like two weeks after the three month mark technically you're late so you kind of want to be careful if you're using it as a legit birth control method i'm really only using it to not have periods at this point but um, I guess eventually if I needed to prevent uh, pregnancy, then there's that option. But really right now, I'm using it so that my periods won't come back because they were terrible. Yeah, like I said, I haven't had a period since 2012. Um, I did have, so I'm trying to think, this past fall and then the spring before that, I did have like periods I guess I don't want to I don't know if they were periods or so the not this past spring but the spring before I know this I'm sorry y'all I feel like I'm all over the place but like the spring before um literally the Sunday before dead week I started bleeding and it, it wasn't like blood it was like old blood you got you guys know what old blood is so I'm just like, okay, this is weird. Like I haven't had a period in all of this time. This is really just weird. It lasted and it was never really like blood. It was it was like old blood. So like my body was getting rid of like all of that. So I called my doctor and I'm like, hey, this is what's going on. And so she told me to come in and you know, so she can make sure everything is okay. Cause she was like, well, maybe the shot isn't as 
effective anymore and you may need to switch birth control so she told me to um like what's the word watch how long everything happened and then let her know and then i went to the doctor um so it only lasted for about three days and i went to the doctor and she was like you know everything seems fine and so she told me to you know keep watching it and let me know let her know if anything else happened that was it nothing else happened <laughs> um so then last fall so this past fall it happened again legit the same time i kid you not the sunday before dead week the same thing happened the rest of the year nothing literally nothing the sunday before dead week it happened again and i'm like what the heck same thing it was old blood it only lasted for about three to four days and i'm just like what the hell and this past semester this past spring semester didn't happen at all so i went to the doctor again and she was just like this is weird because everything seems okay she ran different tests and all of that she was like everything seems fine and she was like maybe it's just stress because stress releases certain type of hormones the devil shot is a hormone shot so all of my hormones are just discombobulated because i'm just stressed out and again, I don't know why it didn't happen this past semester because I was just as stressed, so I have no idea. But yeah, that was the only time I, I can say I've had like a period. I wouldn't even know if they would consider it a period or if it was just like my body just being all discombobulated because I was really stressed out and all of my hormones were like clashing and just, but yeah, that's just, that was, yeah. Uh, yeah <laughs> so yeah like i said i haven't really experienced side effects from the depot shot there's some people who have like all of these crazy weird stories and i'm sorry um like I'm, i haven't really experienced any of those side effects but i recommend the depot shot i feel like it depends on the type of person you are i feel like for me it's convenient because my mom can give it to me so she can come down to my school i can go home and she can give it to me um it's every three months so i literally can forget about it for three months it's not something that i have to do every day it's not something that has to be implanted in my arm like that's just the no-go for me um it's just kind of more convenient for me um but like i said the side effects were very minimal for me now from what my doctor has told me I do experience menopausal symptoms because the shot kind of tricked my body into thinking that I am in menopause so my body has stopped producing eggs again this is according to my gynecologist which your doctor and gynecologist told you may have been completely different but I'm going by what my gynecologist has told me so please don't tell me that that's not true because I really don't give a damn I'm going by what my gynecologist told me but yeah so basically my body is not producing eggs because the shot has tricked my body into thinking that it is in menopause I will say <laughs> I do experience some menopausal symptoms and it makes me feel old <laughs> because I'm like experiencing symptoms that my grandmother experiences and we're like having hot flashes and we're I'm just sitting like oh my god it just wouldn't but oh my god I feel so old but um other than that I feel like nothing extreme has really happened I you know haven't experienced any health issues another reason why the depo shot was very important for me or well birth control in general is because I do get ovarian cysts um my mother had both of her ovaries removed from ovarian cysts as well as my grandmother and um some of my cousins my um some of my cousins get ovarian cysts as well so it seems like it's kind of a hereditary thing um so the birth control in general the hormones kind of help the cysts to not grow um, if you don't know, cysts are very common. You normally get cysts, but they kind of go away on their own. But the issue with me and my mother and my grandmother is the cysts get big to the point where they cannot 
go away on their own and they have to be surgically removed which is what happened to my mom and my grandma so the shot makes sure that the cysts do not get to that point so it's just something about the hormonal imbalance and i'm not really sure but i'm not trying to have ovary removed <laughs> at this age i don't have any kids so yeah so hopefully i've kind of covered everything if you're just starting out on birth control the um, birth control pills may be a better option for you if you can remember to take them every day and i think you have to take them at the same time every day and um if you're just starting out the pills may be a good choice for you for me personally with everything that i have going on even now with everything that i have going on it's just not the best option for me the depot shot is the best option for me like I said, stick an implant in my arm, no. Stick a something in my vagina, no. Like, so that's why I didn't choose those other two options. So, yeah, I just feel like the, the depot shot is the best option for me. I haven't had any side effects. I haven't, well, I haven't really had any side effects. I haven't really had any issues. Seems like everything is peachy <laughs> so far. Um, and when I feel like I am ready to have kids, then I will, of course, get off the depo shot. And I think my gynecologist said I would have to get off of it a year before I plan on having kids so that my body can, you know, get all of the um, hormones out of my system and kind of get back to normal and all of that. So, you know, when I'm ready to have kids, I will plan it out and get off the shot. And But that won't be until I'm done with graduate school and I'm married and all of that good stuff so yeah okay you guys that is it for this video if you have any other questions or comments leave them down in the comment section again i don't need any doctors or i don't really care about what your gynecologist said to you like don't come in my comments telling me that what i said is not true because of what your gynecologist said I don't care what your gynecologist said to you is different than what mine said to me we don't have we have two different doctors we don't have the same doctor so it doesn't really matter but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and i will see you guys in my next video